you matter to me than humanity. Hello and welcome to the Daughters of Sheba Foundation Human Interest Story, which is presented once weekly. Sit back and listen and learn. Verify that we do not own the copyright of some of the videos featured in our episodes. These materials are used within the guidelines of fair use, as outlined in Section 107 of the Copyright Act, and all rights remain with the original copyright owners. Have you ever wondered how a baby can be born from a test tube? Meet Louise Brown, the world's first test tube baby, who made history way back in 1978. But what's the story behind this scientific breakthrough? And how has this technology evolved to help millions of people achieve their dream of having a baby? Stay tuned as we explore the fascinating world of in vitro fertilization, or IVF. In 1878, a Viennese embryologist named Samuel Leopard Schenk made a breakthrough. He observed that cell division occurred where, when sperm were added to ova under a microscope. These early experiments were just the start. By the 1930s, two researchers, Gregory Pincus and Ernest Venzez Ensman, claimed a successful pregnancy using IVF in rabbits. However, it was later discovered that this wasn't entirely true as fertilization likely occurred inside the body, not in vitro. Nevertheless, their work paved the way for future research. In the 1950s, scientists Colin Russell Austin and Min Chu Chang discovered that sperm needed to mature before they could effectively fertilize an egg. And in 1959, Chang successfully used IVF to impregnate a rabbit. Thirteen years later, Louise Brown was born. This remarkable event was thanks to the collaboration of Patrick Steptoe and Robert Edwards. Their work not only pushed scientific boundaries, but also kicked off various ethical debates around embryo research and ownership. Since then, IVF has come a long way. Today, it's a common procedure offering hope to millions of infertile couples worldwide. Over 3 million babies have been born thanks to this technology. Let's break down how IVF works. Doctors first stimulate the ovaries to increase egg production. These eggs are then collected and fertilized in a lab with sperm from a partner or donor. After a few days of growth, the embryos are transferred back into the uterus, hoping at least one implant, one will implant and develop normally. Throughout these steps, both the potential parents and medical staff face emotional highs and lows. The success of IVF depends on many factors, including the age of the woman, the cause of infertility, and the expertise of the medical center. Today's technology even allows doctors to screen embryos for genetic disorders before implantation, reducing the risk of hereditary diseases. Now, as with any medical procedure, IVF isn't free from controversy. Religious and ethical debates continue, particularly about the fate of unused embryos. Despite these challenges, the success and ongoing advancements in IVF tell a story of hope and scientific triumph. What do you think about the journey of IVF from simple observations of rabbit cells to a procedure that has created families across the globe? Would you consider it if you faced challenges conceiving? Thanks for watching. 
We would love to hear your feedback on the topic discussed in this video. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.